Originally, straightness was applied to surfaces that contained straight line elements. The tolerance zone was two parallel lines. Later, it was applied to the axis of a cylindrical feature, and this tolerance zone was cylindrical, and that kind of made sense. Then, in the 1982 revision of the Y145 standard, as an extension of principle, we could apply straightness to a width, and the tolerance zone became two parallel planes. Really? This tip shows you how the standard was revised in 2009 to be a little more technically sound. Over the years, straightness has really been two different tolerances. When applied to a surface, it controls lines within the surface, and when associated with the size dimension, it's controlling the axis, originally is what it was called, and then it was uh, clarified to say really the derived median line because an axis is straight by definition. So if I were to ask you if this part down here is straight, you'd have to say, well, which straightness are you talking about? The axis looks pretty straight, but the lines in the surface aren't looking too good. So surface straightness, as we see called out here, associated with the surface, gives us a tolerance zone that is two parallel lines. And if I associate with the size dimension on a cylindrical feature like this, then the tolerance zone is cylindrical. Here you can see that this can be kind of a corkscrew. These derived median points create a derived median line of sorts down through the part. Now, those of you that are familiar with our training materials might recognize this little guy as Rufus. We made up some characters using the modifiers. We have Max, we have Lisa, and then we have Rufus. The S in a circle used to stand for regardless of feature size, but now that's the default condition for all geometric tolerances, so the symbol has gone away. So we use Rufus to explain former concepts. And the former concept that he'd like to show you today is when I put straightness on a size dimension that's controlling a width. Back in 82, this meant that your tolerance zone was a pair of parallel planes. What they did is they took the principle of applying it to a cylinder and extended it to widths. Well, that tolerance zone really looks like a flatness tolerance zone. So some people kept asking, why don't you really call it flatness? And in 2009, it was changed. So now I can put a flatness next to a size dimension. I can even modify it at MMC or LMC. And it means exactly the same thing that straightness next to the size dimension used to mean. But now it's more technically correct. So our tolerance zone is controlling the derived median plane, which is a bunch of derived median points, which, by the way, are pretty difficult <laughs> to find. And so next tip I'll talk to you about how if we add a maximum material condition to this flatness next to the size dimension, it can be a lot easier to inspect if your design will permit. You tell us what you need to control, and we will help you to state it on the drawing, because around techies, GD&T rules. I'll see you next tip.